Um, my Lord, so first, can I apologise to Baroness Smith for my inability to read? Um, and second, can I congratulate my noble friend, Lord Moylan, on bringing forward this bill? Um, to the noble Baroness Kennedy, can I say, not only am I not in receipt of any dark money, but nor am I a member of any sort of pro-life group or APPG or anything like that. Um, I think it's fair to say this bill is not that likely to become law. And so what I suggest that my noble friend is doing is putting down a marker. And I think the noble Baroness Smith expressed very well the way that we should be looking at these things on a scientific basis. I am, in fact, going to talk about abortion, um, which uh, is a path down which one should tread very warily. Uh, last year, there was something like 200,000 and more abortions, which was never thought of which the vast majority would have been uh, perfectly healthy fetuses that people just did not wish to take to term. Now, that was not the intention of David Steele in 1967. It was thought to be quite a, a minor uh, adjustment to the number of people that would be uh, aborted, the number of children that would be aborted. Now, my own view is that. Uh, Abortion is necessary on many occasions, but is a necessary evil. It's not something that anybody could contemplate lightly or wish to see happen, either the mother or indeed the child. This is not about women's rights, though. What I, the reason I'm putting down a marker today is that there is talk of decriminalising late abortions after one or two very high-profile cases of a mother press prosecuted. Now, my own view is that the particular case I'm thinking of, a, a mother aborted at home through drugs, a 36-year-old, I think, 36-month-old fetus. Sorry? Weeks. Thank you. 36-week-old, I'm sorry. Um, now, that child could, of course, lived perfectly happily. So we have to ask ourselves, not about women's rights, but about where murder begins and murder ends. Because actually, a child that could have been born perfectly happily and is being born in the hospital next door, in the ward next door, being aborted when it could live seems to me to be a very, very serious matter. And I put this down as a marker because I hope that nobody will pursue the idea that we decriminalise late abortions which may take place at home, not about women's rights, but actually about a decent, humane society. <laughs>